So Cursor just announced that they have released an application for phones as well where they are asking you to start programming or at least wipe coding with their phone app. Now what does this mean? How does this work? Let's just talk a little bit about what exactly Cursor is doing. So as we all know as developers that Cursor is one of the many ways to build software using AI. It's an IDE itself which you have to download. It plugs in a bunch of models. Even I use it for a lot of my work but what's impressive about the mobile application or in general what unlocks that is basically the concept of background agents right so if you head over to cursor documentation you will see this concept of background agents now cursor as a product itself the idea is dead simple but one of the things that unlocks this mobile application is the background agent one so let's try to understand what exactly is happening over here when you run a background agent so over here you have your cursor instance and by default it's running on your own computer right so when you start cursor as an ide it starts off as something which is running as a vs code instance on your own computer so when there is an llm call for example and you get the response back and the edit needs to be applied that happens completely on your own computer right the only thing cursor uses externally is api to and fro communication right so this communication that it's doing either with its ai api servers or with directly api providers this is the only external thing that happens when you're working on your own system However, if you take this setup exactly and turn it into background agent, the only thing that is changing is that cursor now, instead of on your own computer, is running in a cloud virtual machine. That's the only setup that changes. The only thing that they have changed is this computer is now not your own computer. Obviously, that means that there needs to be an installation and setup step first. So that is what they do with this git clone that is why they ask you to have a repository access over here this github connection and of course you can set up your own environment and all as well but cursor can do that for you as well if needed in most cases it might not also need it if you're just doing a little bit of basic editing here and there but this is obviously helpful because cursor can really tap into the actual lsp of your system the typescript or python or whatever you're using to extract out linter and errors on the fly as you're working instead of running like a full step so everything else that you see in the launch video for example this mobile application and the ui is just beautification of the core architecture which is this one so now obviously you can connect it with your main cursor as an api endpoint so you can just say that spin of a background agent right so when you execute a command like this what it does is that it creates this ec2 machine or whatever they are using as an infrastructure provider and do all the work over there and once the work is done they ideally probably just spin it down now how do they spin up and spin down this machine that would be some sort of engineering on its own but since this is a background agent and by definition like you know you can see that it's not very instant you don't need like a background system spinning up instantly therefore they can choose to relax choose to boot up this slowly properly and so on this background compute is pretty much very similar to what you also get on fermion for example if i open one of these interactive labs you will see what i'm talking about so on fermion there is a concept of having a similar background compute where you you get a container assigned right so cursor probably is also doing this on a container level or on a vm level i don't know but this is what they are doing they get this environment something like this they are able to clone your whole file system here and now imagine that the cursor is running over here you can see that this is technically in the browser so it's not like i'm not opened a vs code or anything but you can mount a cursor instance and let the cursor do everything in the background like on that computer on that linux on the cloud and once it's done it can show you this window exactly which is what this Show you in the video also right so by the end of the i think when the cursor has done a task or something so it will be able to show you that thing in the vs code like environment itself which is not technically your vs code it's the vs code which they have connected remotely right so it's pretty much similar to how this works on a more or less on an architecture level that you spin up a computer or compute you get a cloud instance you run cursor you have all these llms you obviously have the task at hand also what you have to do from the background agent so it's all in orchestration of you know a few things but the core product which they have already built completely gets reused right so this is one of the 
projects or one of the products which requires basically no AI knowledge as such. As long as you have cursor already built in, this can be built by a team which is just really good with web, mobile, just gluing some API code together, understanding how to scale up systems. It's a typical workload where you would not need AI expertise in an AI company, right? So that is why like, you know, a lot of people who say that I can do everything with AI and in generally like, you know, you can do a lot of brainstorming and things, but you still need a lot of senior engineers and competent engineers to actually do pull off something like this, right? So that's why there is still merit in learning programming. There is still hope that, you know, you can become a great developer and whatever your goal is, get a good pay, get a good job. But these systems are complex, even though they are not like AI native, but they are still complex to implement. And if you don't know what you're doing, you will not be able to implement them. So this was a quick video on background agents. And this is how their mobile application also works. It's not featuring you any editor or any code gets downloaded on your phone or npm install is running on your phone. That's just not possible and feasible also. But I hope you learned something new in this video. And do let me know what you think about cursor in general. Do you use that or not? That's all for this one. And I will see you in the next video very soon.